Dear friends, every exhibition I curate is like sharing something I find for myself important and, and that really moves me deeply. And I think it's about sharing, it only gets value. And this is a theme I think which is nowadays extremely important is silence in space. So the silence itself that we all need so much, silence is also like zero, it's like nothing. So it's the void. The void is also endless space. We can hang these works of art, live with those works of art in a limited space like a house. It's really very good for the soul. Every piece of art, the more you look at it, the more you resemble it and the more there is silence and space in yourself. For this exhibition, we selected a group of artists from, from our gallery that really represent this theme. These works have a vibration that can be physically sensed in the space. And that's why I feel the power of the silence. One theme is, is extremely important and central to it all is the idea of the void, the void out of which we are all born, this kind of pre-Big Bang moment. This has been essential idea in all the artists we've been working with is that they, they all want to connect to this oneness. First of all, we question ourselves what silence means. Um, generally speaking, we could say that silence is uh, the absence of sound. It's uh, more than just an absence of something. It becomes a presence. Like a musician uses pauses between the notes to enrich uh, the composition. An artist does the same. Actually, it's from a blank canvas that significance and a meaning can emerge. A space where there are a lot of things to discover, uh, where this world of creation uh, starts from. I think that's also the purpose of a good exhibition. Once you walk through it, it's, you change a little bit. You discover something. And I think they're all very individual works of art. Nothing resembles each other. And that's the power of all these things together. The American writer Susan Sontag notes in her diary that art is a form of consciousness. And as such, art absorbs the role of religion and mysticism previously held in, in human life. Uh, something to satisfy what she calls our craving for the cloud of unknowing beyond knowledge and for the silence beyond speech.